Tom. Let's set the stage, so to speak. Around this time, it was pretty common to perform experiments publicly for people to watch. Some universities housed anatomical theaters. On the stage of the theater is where dissections would occur on either animal or human bodies. Usually the human bodies have belonged to criminals. Criminals? Hmm, like our boy George Foster, right? I see you're finally getting back to the point. Finally. Why yes, you restless little twerp. This is going to get back to Mr. Foster. See, when the jury convicted George guilty, they sentenced him to death and to be dissected afterwards. That, that sounds like an interesting conviction. It was actually quite common in those days. Dissections were generally looked down upon, which is why a law had been passed to allow surgeons to operate on the deceased corpses of criminals. It was believed that one would not be able to go to heaven if their body had been mutilated. After Foster Hound, he was brought to Giovanni Alvini to be experimented on with the aid of electricity. Oh yeah, galvanism, right? Yes, Barry. Electricity was applied to the face, which caused the muscles in his face to wiggle and one eye to open and move out. Aldini also got the late George to open and close his hand, and uh, to kick about when the electric was applied to his uh, rectum. That means butthole. But alas, George remained deceased, which may have been due to the fact that his friend pulled on the lower part of his body as he hung, resulting in his spinal cord being severed. Well, with friends like that, who needs? Actually, his friends were doing him a favor. When a person is hung, it can result in them choking to death for around four hours, or, if the noose is tight enough, it can result in their neck snapping and more instant death. Still not ideal, but at least he wouldn't suffer as much. Though had Aldini been successful in bringing back Foster from the dead, Foster would have been re-executed. That closes the case on George Foster. <laughs>